move on to front and dine here as always i'd like to thank you for taking the time for checking out my channel and of course this video it does mean a lot to me that you would take the time to do so now i have just got back from the northern um, invertebrate show which was up in Huddersfield and I've had an absolute blast this weekend so very briefly to tell you about what happened I went up yesterday met up with the guys from the spider shop um, and some other sort of uh, breeders and things we got the show set up uh, went out for a meal and a drink and this morning we got to the show nice and early about 8 a.m. and continue to get the show set up get all the animals in place and the signs up and everything uh, and then after that, 11 o'clock, the doors opened, the public came in and pretty much had a really good day. Now, I didn't buy that much stuff at this show, which is a shame, but that does not mean I did not come away with some awesome uh, new things to show you. Uh, whilst there, I was pretty much filming everything. I have uh, footage of the show, uh, which will be up here as a time lapse from setting out the tables to putting the inverts down to uh, queue run getting uh, when people were coming through the doors. I also was, I believe, one of the only people that had sort of access to the uh, top balcony. So I was getting all of the aerial shots of the show, which um, I really hope will make for some absolutely fantastic footage, as well as uh, a few clips and pictures of the animal man who was there, who uh, was introducing children to things like millipedes, centipedes, tarantulas, scorpions, um, snakes. Yeah, it's really, really awesome. I had a really good day. It has been a long day though. Uh, pretty much on my feet all day. As always, I got to meet up with the guys from the spider shop. So a special thank you to Lee, Sam and Vicky and Jason for kind of allowing me to sort of work with them uh, this weekend. I had a really good time working on stores and uh, just keeping busy, I guess. And of course, a huge thank you to those of you who I got to meet. Now, uh, I got to meet up with loads and loads of people. I had spent as much time talking to you as I could. Uh, I feel bad for those of you when I was sort of off doing things that I had to uh, kind of excuse myself from you to go and do other things. But I met up with loads of you. I had uh, quite a few photos of people. I gave out uh, some autographs. Um, genuinely just had a really good day. So if you are one of the people that I met and you came and spoke to me, a huge thank you. I really do appreciate you taking the time to come and chat to me and I hope it was going to work well. And of course, I look forward to seeing you at uh, future shows. If you are someone that wanted to talk to me but didn't because of time, I saw several people there that I didn't talk to as much as I would have liked, which is a real shame. Um, a couple of people I will name, um, or two people in particular, I guess. Uh, one is a lady called Ellen, who uh, I speak to uh, on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and things. She's got some awesome uh, spiders. I saw her sort of throughout the day, sort of. Um, opposite ends of the room and at the end of the show she kind of came and said hello how are you doing nice to meet you i'm off goodbye and left so it's a shame i didn't get to have more of a talk with her and there's a lady on instagram called uh, lecurva kitten and i speak to her quite a lot and uh we sort of chat and comment on, on each other's stuff and things and i saw her several times i kept thinking i need to go and talk to her um but i just never had the opportunity so to you i'm really really sorry i did not get to meet you you are one of the people i really wanted to meet uh, but maybe next time we can meet and have a chat on things. So with that said, those are my thanks and um, and whatnot. Of course, um, there will be a huge video which I'm going to be working on. I don't know exactly when it's going to be up because it's going to take quite a lot of editing. I'm genuinely going to put a lot of effort into making this video. Um, Say so show, start to finish, uh, meeting people, uh, just everything and I really hope that you guys will all enjoy it. Uh, that will be up as soon as possible. So of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss my future uploads. Okay then, so the main reason that you watch this video is to see what I obviously picked up at the show. Now I got some uh, really cool things. I only actually bought two tarantulas, uh, but I do have a couple of other tarantulas to show you as well as some equipment. Uh, I didn't go too crazy and to be fair I didn't have time to shop really I was too busy working if you saw me there you will know I was sort of on my feet all day of course the BTS is not long so uh, you know I'll be getting some awesome additions then so I'm going to go through show you some things that I've got explain a little talk about them and uh, yeah let's just get straight on with it so one of the things that I've got which I'm not going to bother showing you are some uh, substrate blocks um, go to the spy shop so a huge thank you to them uh, I'm not going to show you what they look like, you know, just a block of substrate, you add water to them and expand and you put them in your enclosures for spiders and they dig in them. 
you know, you know, if you know, if you keep trying to listen and stuff, you know what substrate is. If not, click on any of my videos, look up the substrate that's in the enclosures. That's what it is. <laughs> um, yeah. One thing that I did buy, um, I was with Stephen, uh, trying to at the time. We had a walk and a, and a chat and things. And I wanted to get something for a new enclosure I bought. And I found this. So this might look like a, a, just a piece of wood, nothing too exciting, but I really like this. Now, I like the shape of this. I like the details. I like the crevices and the holes in it and things, if you can see it. And what, I'll do, what I'm going to be doing is I bought a enclosure, which I'm going to be setting up a communal in. I thought that this would be good for the particular species. Now there's sort of um, all these sort of holes that kind of go up here. Um, if you can see my finger in there. Um, so yeah, like it's like a tunnel that goes up there and there's sort of tunnels down there. Um, there's sort of like all these like, little holes and crevices and cracks. And I think that having this in the center of my new enclosure with this communal of webbing tarantulas this will make an absolutely fantastic um, sort of centerpiece, I guess, for the enclosure. So yeah, I'm not gonna ramble too much about this piece of wood. It sounds really weird, but I'm really excited about this piece of wood. Um, so yeah, I just, I love it. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, that is what I need for this tank, for this project I'm gonna do. So uh, yeah, I got the world's sexiest piece of wood. And um, yeah, I'm very happy with that. It cost me like 10 quid, so bargain. So the next thing that I bought is actually the enclosure. So you would have seen my All Weaver Spider um, enclosure that I got from the uh, South East Rocking Show. It's very good. Uh, not built fantastically. So I bought this. This is a large cylinder. As you can see, it is all around. You can spin it. There's nothing inside, so it's okay to do that. The lid, if you take it off, there are three vents on the top, as well as three locks. So this can be locked down, which is fantastic. is a really really nice enclosure and I can see me um, genuinely getting some great videos with this. There is a seam which you can see sort of at the back which is fine of course you have to join the material somehow but yeah completely clear all the way around and so what I'm going to do I lead off this get my super sexy piece of wood that I'm in love with and I bought it hoping it would fit and it does, like so. Um, get the lid. Look at that. That is literally a perfect fit. Um, obviously, it's sort of balancing at the moment. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop glue gun that to the bottom to the base. Uh, fill it about uh, maybe fifth or maybe just more with the uh, substrate and this will be the new enclosure for my mono center plus about four week communal i have uh, five slings and one juvenile which are currently living together in harmony no casualties uh, no uh, no missing um, mia m bar four week so uh, yeah that covered with webs with m bar four uh, crawling all over it and things is really really exciting and i will of course We'll be doing a video of that. So enough of that. So that is the equipment out of the way. Um, no, it's not actually. How can I say that? I still have two more to show. Um, two seconds. Okay then. So the next thing that I got, I got two of these enclosures. These were for free, which is awesome. Um, Purchase of the spire shop. Of course, you can find links to their page in the description of this video and every one of my videos uh, I'll put a link to their Facebook page the actual page itself which was organised by Lee Arden himself and of course their website so if you want to buy some enclosures, equipment or livestock then uh, head on over and check them out so but yeah I have two enclosures this is the uh, terrestrial one which I'll be doing a review of which is a wonderful enclosure and I also have a second uh, 30 by 30 by 30 uh, or 30 centimeter cubed one. This is the exact same enclosure that I have my uh, Tyler NS Saladonia in. Absolutely gorgeous enclosure. Again, this one was uh, gifted to me for the purpose of reviewing. I already have two spiders in mind 
for this. Now, uh, I won't be telling you what they are, but in a separate video that will be very, very soon, I will be rehousing two spiders. The first spider that I'll be rehousing is one that I've had for a long time, which will go into this. Quite a heavy webber, will make hopefully a wonderful uh, display spider. So if you'd like to have a guess of which spider's going in there, please feel free to guess. And the one for the terrestrial one is a spider that I've had very, very recently. I first showed you in a live unboxing. It is probably my second most expensive uh, spider. It is a true spider. Um, very, very expensive. Uh, I believe they are quite rare as well, or very rare. I've never seen them. And uh, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And that one will be going into the uh, terrestrial one. So in a future video, I'll be doing a setup review of these two enclosures and in advance a few thank you to the spider shop for these and i hope you will all enjoy it and please go and check out these enclosures i'm not saying that because i've been you know i'm reviewing them i'm saying that because i already have one i paid my own money for the one that i already have uh, they are absolutely fantastic enclosures I am not disappointed, I have no complaints with them at all, so as a review, they are fantastic anyway, and I uh, would definitely recommend people to get them. Today, whilst actually at the show, someone, a gentleman came and asked me about them, what they were like for some terrestrials, Blacky Palmers, uh, Grandma Soda sort of things. Um, I had a word with him, told him my view of them, he bought five. So, um, and that's a true story, you know, genuinely true, he bought five of them for, um, for his spiders because he was that happy with the way that they looked. So, really, really awesome. So, so the next thing I got was two slings. So I have here, the first one, Tapin Orchinus species CD. Uh, the CD standing for Caribbean Diamond. I will put a picture here on the screen, uh, courtesy of the spider shop. These guys are gorgeous. And um, this one was actually free. So uh, a huge thank you uh, to the spider shop for this absolutely wonderful looking spider. I, this is one of the spiders that when I went to the show I was saying this is what I want to get and I got it. So uh, that's awesome. And the second spider that I got was the uh, Plenobius muticus, the king baboon. Uh, another sort of fantastic spider. I did have a, um, I believe I had a mature male of these which I sent to Stephen or Trantrodic uh, about three years ago for breeding. He never came back and we never got an exact so I'm um, quite interested to have a, another go with these. So another baboon, a king baboon. Um, very exciting species to own, I do like them. So uh, yeah, two tarantulas and they were both free, which is awesome. The next spider that I got, I actually was on the uh, page for this show and there was a gentleman named Olaf, um, who is a absolutely fantastic guy and he uh, put up a list of uh, mature males that he had. So I have bought this, it um, matured on the 18th of January. He's actually put the date on the tub, which is fantastic. Um, he sort of, again, you can see that, he just put my name. Um, so um, yeah, I paid 25 pounds for this. I did actually pay for this, which is uh, fine. And this is the Wiperpora Diversbees, the Amazon Sapphire Pink Toe. Uh, which was previously um, or ex avicularia uh, um, diversopes, diversopes diverse piece, how can I pronounce it? So, yeah, recently matured mature male. I have a female that is ready to breed. So, um, in the next maybe two or three weeks, once I've sort of actually, she, she only fed last week to be fair, so she may be okay for breeding, but uh, I'll still try her anyway. Um, yeah, expect a breeding video of these which hopefully if I get my lighting and everything set up just correctly, find some really cool funky music, um, we should be good for a good video. Um, in fact, I was actually thinking if you'd be interested, I may even try and do a live tarantula breeding. My female is very frisky, so um, it might be good to get a live, um, a live tarantula breeding. If you would like to see a live tarantula breeding, please let me know in the comments below and uh, if enough of you are interested in that then i will do that so it might work it might not um it might be over in 10 minutes it might be two hours of just me talking to you guys until it happens we don't know um so yeah mature male another, uh, another reading video i've got one more thing though 
This is something that is, I have never owned this before. Um, in fact, up until today, I've never seen these for sale. And as far as inverts go, are the strangest things I think I've owned, which is kind of weird coming from me. Um, I give you my new pet giant leech. Um, and yeah, I don't want to say about it really. It is in a bottle, half with water. Um, they, this actually gets quite big when it kind of stretches out and they drink blood. Um, I was joking with a few people about putting it on my arm and then falling asleep and I'll be dead the next day. It like, sucks all the blood out of me and this is like really big and fat and rolling around like a pug. Um, but yeah, really, the, when these stretch out, I don't know whether I can get it to do it. Um, if I take all the water to the uh, bottom, um, and it just sort of flops around like a bit of a derp, but um, I don't know whether you can see that, how it's sort of starting to, to kind of stretch out there. And these can uh, genuinely extend quite, uh, quite a way. Um, so of course, what can you expect from this? Well, I'll be doing a video on how to house it in case any of you are interested in buying one. I will also provide the information to where I got this from. Of course, there will be a handling video of this because people are obviously going to want me to do a handling video of this, um, of this sort of this massive leech, and uh, I don't mind doing that. So uh, yeah, I'll be doing a handling video of this. Hopefully, I don't get bit, and. Uh, yeah, how unusual is that? I know uh, a few people were um, thinking about getting them but decided not to, but uh, they extend. It's awesome. It's quite creepy as well, but, uh, but yeah. So uh, I have me a giant leech. So there you go, that is literally my pickups. I didn't get that much this at this, uh, this show. That said, I did have a great day, and again, with, with the, the footage you'll see, as well as sort of filming everything, I got early access to have a look at some of the animals there. I handled a, um, a boa constrictor, a absolutely gorgeous black king snake, which was wonderful. I have actually fallen in love with that snake. I really, really want one. Um, I handled a skunk, and it was adorable. It was like like a giant fluffy teddy bear, um, kind of like a giant sort of fat ferret. I absolutely loved it. Um, yeah, they had some great stuff there. So this is like that's all stuff that you're seeing in the actual video. I really, really hope that you guys will enjoy it when it's up. So uh, yeah, thank you to everyone that I met today. Thank you to the organisers of the Northern Invertebrate Show. I cannot wait to attend the next one as well as the Eastern, Western, and Southern one. Um, links to that will be in the description of this video. And uh, yeah, thanks to everyone that came up to me and to talk and chat. Thank you to the breeders and um, traders that I spoke to. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Goodbye from me, everyone. Yeah. Goodbye from me, everyone. I'm getting fucked up by the last minute. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs>